The Prophet said, do not talk back and forth about my companions. Whoever loves them, loves them because he loves me. Whoever hates them, curses them because he hates Muhammad. Whoever oppresses my companions, Uthman, Abu Bakr, Umar, oppresses me. Whoever oppresses me opposes Allah. He says, Allah will punish those who oppose Allah. Brothers, now someone comes out and says that these Shias are all al bayt He calls them al al bayt sect. The Holy Quran speaks about the chastity, the barat of our mother Aisha. And these men are accusing our mother Aisha of adultery. These men are cursing Umar. Prophet Muhammad said that if a prophet came after me, it would be Umar. But these men are cursing Omar. The Quran calls Abu Bakr the second of the two, the cave companion of Prophet Muhammad. They curse him. Then someone comes out and looks you in the eye and calls these men al al bayt Brothers and sisters, how can those who curse Omar, curse Abu Bakr, and accuse the Prophet's wife Aisha of adultery be al al bayt These Shias killed a boy whose name was Abu Bakr. They said, Abu Bakr, are you still alive? They looked at his identity card. If his name was Omar, they killed him. If it was Uthman, they killed him. Well, man, I tell you that there is an afterlife. There is a law. There is a judgment. There is a reckoning. Won't you come before my Lord tomorrow? How can you call Al al bayt those who killed a child who took his mother's milk because his name was Omar, because his name was Abu Bakr? Don't you fear Allah? If you had read the Prophet Muhammad who said, be ashamed of talking back and forth about my companions, then you would not have called these thugs Al al bayt you would have been ashamed of it.